Hello, it's 2.41 p.m. Today is Saturday, February 9th, 2019. I'm here at the two-bedroom, two-bath uh, villa that Mom and I are renting for four nights here on Tahiti Island. And uh, we are just on the southwest edge of uh, Tahiti Iti, small Tahiti. And I'm going to try and go out for a, a kayak uh, ride here. This is our fourth and uh, final day on the island before we board Oceana Marina cruise ship tomorrow for our 12 night uh, voyage around French Polynesia. And we're just uh, relaxing here after three days of uh, exploring Tahiti. I'm a little concerned about uh, heading out on the kayak because this uh, nicer, newer paddle here, it, the blades face the opposite direction, which I have never seen before. Um, one of them is vertical and one of them is horizontal, which doesn't seem right to me, but I looked at the neighboring villa and the two paddles over there are in the same setup. There's an older paddle that's falling apart here that's all vertical the way that I'm used to seeing them. So anyhow, we'll see uh, how this goes here. Okay, I'm setting off. There's a look back at our villa. And uh, this is a, the well, here, this is a small bay, and I'm heading out toward the large bay here. And uh, out that direction is the isthmus connecting Tahiti Nui, Big Tahiti, which is over straight ahead from Tahiti Iti, small Tahiti. Uh, it's all one island, but it's in a figure eight shape. And the uh, Tahiti uh, Nui side is uh, much larger than the loop over here. Similar to the shape of Maui Island in Hawaii. And I'm guessing it's probably because two different volcanoes formed the islands and then they eventually merged together to form one island, which I believe is the same story in Maui. So, okay, this paddle is sort of working. You just have to kind of tilt it a little bit. I don't quite understand why it's not straight, but uh, anyhow, it seems to be doing the job okay. Just not, I've never used this kind of paddle before. So if I head out into the bay and hang a left here, that leads out to the coastline. And so I'm gonna try to make it out there and see if there's a spot to pull up on shore and go snorkeling. Maybe the bay, the water looks pretty uh, dark here. So I don't think there's, uh, would be much to see snorkeling here. Got a small island on my left. All right, well, come back if there's uh, something interesting to see. was a pretty quick trip out of the bay. I have no idea what's going on over here. It's like a looks like a large blue tent with two green arches or something and somebody standing over there. Looks very out of place. You can 
can see it on the video, but the surf is breaking way out there at the reef. So it's very calm in this lagoon area between the reef and shoreline. Water seems to be getting a little bit more clear, but it's still not uh, blue. I don't think there's really, probably have to go all the way out to the reef to find any decent snorkeling, I'm afraid. I've been out for half an hour now, uh, gone about a mile and a half, went down the uh, shoreline and heading back now toward the west to the, uh, back to the bay. Fortunately, there really hasn't been any uh, decent looking place to pull up and go snorkeling so but it's nice to get out on the water and have a little physical activity after three days in the car driving around exploring the island and the two days it took to get here from Orlando via San Francisco on the other side of the island this time. 